Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multiplication, specifically how we can describe it as comparison, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So most of us are familiar with this simple fact, 3 times 8. And we know that if we wanted to, we could say this is 3 groups of 8. And so we could draw a group of 8, and we could just do this 3 times if we really wanted to. We could also view this as repeated addition. So 3 groups of 8 could also be 8 plus 8 plus 8. We can even make an array if we wanted to. That would be uh, one row of 8 followed by two more rows of 8. But there's another way that we can describe multiplication that I want to make sure you are aware of. And it would be as comparison. And we could have a simple problem like this. We can say, I have $8. And then we could say, my sister has three times as much. And you see that word times in there. Three times as much as me. And so what we're looking at here is we're looking at how much money my sister have. And the only thing we have here is the comparison of I have the $8 and that she has three times as much as me. So we could ask how much money does my sister have? How much money does she have? And we could solve this oh, many ways. We could solve this with repeated addition. We could do the circles and the squares. We can do even repeated addition. But one thing that we might not be familiar with is that when we see 3 times 8, we could be saying, what is this quantity, this 8, what is 3 times bigger than that? What is that quantity tripled? And so that's really what we're looking at with this 3 times 8 is we could say, well, if I have 8 and she has 3 times as much as me, and that's always going to give us R, our keyword here, this times is going to let us know that we need to multiply because times is another way of saying multiplying. We're going to say, okay, so I've got 8, so she's got 8, 16, 24. So we could say it's 24. So let's look at a different example. So here's an, another example. You might get something that says there are 39 marbles in the bag and this expression and this word right here, expression, is actually referring to this down here, this 39 times 2. We call it an expression when there is not an equal sign. If we were to put an equal sign there, then it would be an equation. But since we don't have an equal sign, we simply have an operation here, in this case multiplication, we call it an expression. So this expression, that's what this is down here, 39 times 2, shows how many coins are in the same bag. So we're supposed to write a true statement where we have a 39 and a 2. And based on what we know this word problem, this 39 that's going to be the number of marbles. So it looks like the expression shows how many coins. So it looks like this 2 is going to be the number of coins. But would we say there's 2 more coins? We wouldn't say it's 2 more because that would be 39 plus 2. This is 39 times 2. So we could probably say something like this. We could say there are, there's two different ways we can do this. We can say two times, or you might know a special word that means two times. Another word we can use, let's kind of cross it out real lightly, put that up here. We'll say twice, because twice is another way to say two times. So there are two times, or there are twice as many and this is where we need to get very particular here. The coins are what's doubled. So there's 39 marbles. We're going to multiply that by 2 to get to the coins. Twice as many or two times as many coins as there are marbles. And this would show us a good relationship. Because twice as many coins as marbles. Our marbles are 39. So we could say our coins are going to be times 2 because we've got the twice or we've got the two times. So that's how we can look at multiplication as comparison.